Hi everyone and welcome to a very sunny Liverpool Lime Street. We're about to get on the 1743 from Lime Street to Euston. It's cost me £114 from my home station in Freshfield, just north of Liverpool. Advance ticket to Euston. I'm going to compare this first class journey that I do a lot, do it, you know, many times every month, to one I very rarely do from Paddington out to Bristol on Wednesday. Again, first class, both operated by first, but let's see the difference in the first class services. I've already been to the lounge at uh, Lime Street and the food is really good. They have these little crustini biscuits and some olives and they're delicious. And the lady working there from Carlisle Services was a superb first class horse and you know, really, really welcomed us and really helped us. So it is appreciated, it is appreciated. It's, you know, it's a bit since I've been in the lounge at Lime Street, so. It's good that it's, you know, it was shut over COVID. It's good it's opened again. And you know, you know what? The food, it was really good. It was really good. I could have, I could have ate a lot more than prostine. Is what I'm going to dine on board this first class service to Houston tonight. For some reason, I always choose J14 on the way down because. It's a one-off seat with nobody facing you and nobody next to you. So I'm sat all on my own in comfort on this Avanti West Coast Class 390. Let's have a look at the menu. This is still the spring menu, even though it's July. We're not on the breakfast menu. I've got to say the breakfasts are excellent on Avanti. The great British breakfast. The cooked breakfast is usually superb. But travelling in the evening, so it's the rest of the day menu. There's lighter choices. And I'm going for the larger plates. Unfortunately, on this journey, there was no chicken and pearl barley. So I had the cheese and mushroom crock, which I'll look, we'll look at in a minute. You can have a selection of hot drinks, soft drinks. And don't forget, all this is complimentary. It's all complimentary with the first class fare. Alcoholic drinks, a, re a really good range of beers, spirits, red, white wine. It's pretty good. What I really like about Avanti is they list the suppliers and they try and use food supplies from along the West Coast mainline route as can be seen on this map and I really like that and they also use change place tea and coffee which helps a homeless charity so well done Avanti for the menu I really like this gin forest gin forester first it's distilled brewed whatever you want to call it especially for Avanti first class uh, it's breeding Macclesfield again along the route and it's a really nice gin and look at that ride quality look at the ride quality 125 miles an hour and the glass isn't moving and the mushroom crock I used to have the chicken and pearl barley and I've got a bit fed up of it so I probably would have had this anyway and it was really tasty it was excellent it was it doesn't look much but it was an absolutely delicious hot meal uh, and really set me up for the rest of the journey so I can't complain about the quality of the food on board. So we've arrived at Euston a minute late I can live with that. Uh, Brett mural to Karen Harrison in the background pioneering woman rail woman train driver. So the journey food availability one of the menu choices weren't available so three out of five the actual food four out of five it was pretty good the croque monsieur was very tasty the service five out of five absolutely superb really good service both in the lounge and on board the two crew members were brilliant really attentive really friendly uh, comfort five out of five yeah i think I even had a had a bit of a sleep after the three gin and tonics and overall value four out of five i'll never give them five out of five because of the big difference between uh advanced tickets and any time but yeah great performance by avanti on this journey let's see how we go on with great western in a couple of days
just arrived at Bristol Temple Meads. Uh, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Oh dear, how I wish I was back in Avanti. Look, choice, one out of five. Nuts or peanuts or a biscuit. Come on, it's also first class evening time service. Service. Look, the first class steward was really, really pleasant. But it's nothing to serve. Very little to serve. Uh, quality, yeah, the beer was cold. And peanuts, yeah, great. Comfort, two out of five. Uh, this is supposed to be Brunel's billiard table. Wow, what a bad ride quality that was on the Class 800. Jarring wasn't the word. And overall value, one out of five. It's supposed to be first class service. Uh, £134, more expensive than Avanti. Uh, but a far, far, far less service. So poor, really poor from Great Western. So just glad I'm here in Bristol. Let's revisit these scores. So Avanti West Coast, £114 for an advanced single first class ticket for a journey that's 2 hours and 20 minutes and 196 miles from Liverpool to London. Price per mile, the journey, 58 pence per mile. Looking at GWR, more expensive, £134.50, even though we're travelling at a similar time of day. Shorter journey, 1 hour 35 minutes and a shorter actual journey length, 117 miles. Price per mile is a lot more. It's 97 pence a mile. Avanti, food availability. Okay, it's quite a limited menu. And one of the menu options wasn't available. But there's still quite a lot of choice. And there was hot food available, which was appreciated. Evening meal time, I wanted some hot food. And I had a really good, delicious meal. Which brings me on to the food quality. The crock was absolutely superb it was really good the quality of the drinks was superb also so can't really complain about the food quality wasn't michelin star of course but wasn't the old british rail curled up sandwich what i've got to say the service was excellent from the avanti first class crew there's two members of the crew who covered the two first class coaches they were friendly they were polite they were helpful can't fault them Real credit to Avanti West Coast. Well done, guys. Comfort, a really good ride. As you saw by the non movement of the gin, we're doing 125 miles an hour on the tilting train and you're not spilling your drinks. I fell asleep on the journey. Comfortable seats. The whole Pendolino fleet's had a refurbishment recently. And yeah, still comfortable. Still a really good ride down to London. An overall value. I thought it was all right. I'll never give them five out of five, as I said, because the vast difference between any time and advanced tickets. But I thought for what I paid, yeah, overall value four out of five, which gives Avanti West Coast a total score of 84%. Let's contrast this with Great Western Railway. Food availability, one. It was either crisps or nuts. Evening time meals, evening time service, no food. No hot food. And they brag about Pullman dining on their services. It's on very, very, very few trains. It's really misleading. They really trump it. Oh, Pullman dining. It's hardly on any trains. So, please, you know, at least give us a sandwich. <laughs> at least give us something to eat for what we're paying. You know, it's six o'clock at night. I've been working all day. I would like something to eat, please. The food quality, you can't really complain about it couple of packets of nuts the beer was very nice so I, I can't complain about what i got it just wasn't much the service well the first class steward she was lovely she was really good professional friendly helpful but overall the service she had nothing to serve the beer they didn't even give you a glass it was in a plastic cup so in terms of service really low service levels here from gwr but I've got to mention how really pleasant the first class steward was. So it's no this low score is no reflection on her. It's GWR is just total lack of first class service. Comfort, well, this is supposed to be Brunel's billiard table. The train rattled and shook at line speed. It was pretty awful and I nearly spilled my drink as I'm drinking it. It was all over the place. It's class 800. An overall value, 2 out of 10. Come on, GWR. You've got a lot of people travelling after work. They're paying a premium to be on this service. 
and you get a pack of nuts and one beer. Come on, 40%. And I think that's generous. I think that's generous. I think it's only because the beer was all right and the peanuts were all right. So overall comparison, big thumbs up for Avanti West Coast. I travel on Avanti a lot, so I'm pleased that I scored this well. And long may it continue and may it improve. You know, they've, they've had a bit of a, a panning, a lot of criticism of Avanti. Virgin West Coast, their predecessors, had a pretty good first class service and it went really downhill with Avanti. Then Covid hit and they've got it back. They've, they've got it back. So, yeah, well done to Avanti. Pretty decent service. GWR, big thumbs down. Absolute rip off. Really uncomfortable. Come on. Come on, there's not many first class passengers. At least offer us a sandwich, or something, or a sausage roll, or a British Rail curled up sandwich. I don't care, but come on, the peak time evening services. Stop bragging about these Pullman dining services that are on a handful of trains. It's, it's minimal, bare minimal percentage of your tra the trains that have this Pullman dining, and yet that's on the website. But the first class service is pretty appalling, it really is. However, just to put those two first class journeys into context, I've just had the most miserable, miserable journey on cross country and both Avanti and GWR. And I really wish I'd have been on those service. Cross country was absolutely awful from Bristol Portway to, I got off at Stafford, it was shocking, absolutely shocking, late, uncomfortable, filthy. That's cross country for you. Then I've gone to London, North Western, and yeah, it was, rattling around that much i thought the class 350 i thought was going to lose a filling so yes i've ranked the first class experience but there you go there's the answer It could be worse. I could be dragging my suitcase down the escalator at Moorfield. Does nothing work anymore. Does nothing work in this country. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this little video. Uh, Avanti, yeah, superb. GWR, look, it was all right. And the, the person coming around with the, the food was great. So shouldn't really be complaining compared to across country, which was terrible. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you all again soon. And I end this video by getting on Britain's newest class of train, the Merseyrail Class 777, on which there's definitely no first class service. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you again soon.